Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. President Muhammad Buhari has re-echoed his government's resolve to restore peace every part of the country. President Buhari said this on Monday during the 58th anniversary of a Nigerian Air Force held in Kano State. The president who congratulated the NAF and other security agencies for their sacrifices towards peace assured of his government's continued support, revealing his government has approved the procurement of more fleet forms such as the Beechcraft and some modern helicopter gunships for the Nigerian Air Force to enable the force to man the airspace more effectively. The Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, has cancelled on executed projects awarded between 2000 and 2019. In a statement issued by the NDDC on Sunday, it said the development followed a directive from the presidency. It added that all affected contractors who earlier received monies by way of mobilization for any projects are to be refunded to the commission's account with the Central Bank of Nigeria. And the Federal High Court in Abuja has dismissed the suit filed by Attorneys General of the 36 states against the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit from implementing its guidelines on the administration of local government funds. The guidelines limited the cumulative amount that can be withdrawn from a local government account to not more than 500,000 naira daily. Delivering judgment, Justice Yang Eko held that the essence of the NFRU guidelines is to entrench financial transparency in government transactions at the local level, adding that the case lacked merits. And the World Health Organization's annual assembly has refused to discuss admitting Taiwan to the meeting under pressure from China and despite impartial pleas from several countries. Taiwan has been blocked from attending the assembly in recent years by China. There have been growing calls to allow Taiwan in as an observer, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the importance of global cooperation on reining in infectious diseases. And in business, Nigeria's gross domestic product grew by 3.11% in the first quarter of 2022, the National Bureau of Statistics has revealed. The NBS revealed that GDP grew by 3.11% year-on-year in real terms in the first quarter of 2022, showing a sustained positive growth for six consecutive quarters since the recession witnessed in 2020. It also added that the first quarter of 2022 growth rate further represents an improvement in economic performance. And authorities in Ethiopia's northern Amhara region say they have arrested more than 4,500 individuals, including a former army commander. The arrest is said to be part of an operation to enforce law and order announced last week. The region's security office had on Monday told state-run media outlets that those arrested, including a former commander of the Amhara Special Forces, were suspected of spreading lawlessness. And in sports, AC Milan have won their first Serie A title in 11 years after beating Sassuolo 3-0 to snatch the crown from local rivals into Milan. Needing just a point to claim the title, Milan swept their host aside thanks to an Olivier Giroud brace and another from Frank Cassi in the first half. Milan finished two points ahead of Inter just by the team's 3-0 win over Sampdoria. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Kanu.